<laughs> hey, my name is Kendall Mizell. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Mobile, Alabama. I work at Genesis Salon and Spa in West Mobile. Um, we are a Summit Salon and I am a level one stylist here. We are a Redken Black Elite Salon that also very highly supports Purology and I personally love the brand myself. I've been behind the chair for two years now and my love for hair has only grown stronger. Uh, I'm a very outspoken person. I'm very outgoing. I love having fun. I love making people laugh. I'm just a very big people person. And I feel like that's just part of the reason why I wanted to start doing hair in the first place. I grew up in the salon. My grandmother did hair. My mom went to hair school, but still had a love for it. Just had a change of careers. My mom's best friend growing up did hair. So I've just, every role model in my life has also been a hairdresser. So I feel like that had a really big impact on me. So from a very young age, I knew it's just what I wanted to do. And now that I've had a certain amount of experience behind the chair, it's just made my fire grow stronger and just crave more out of the industry. So I'm deciding to take the next step and want to become part of a bigger family than just my salon and a company that means so much to me and represents what I care about and what I love, which is just having fun and taking care of your hair and just making other people happy through products and just knowledge and education, which is one of the most important things in our industry. And you'll be nowhere or go anywhere without education. So today for my demonstration, I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to do not only my blowouts, but also a quick and easy updo that I love to do for any kind of special occasion for my clients, whether it be a wedding, prom, or just a date night. Just some super fun things that are really trendy right now. Texture, a lot of curls, beach waves, and just how I incorporate Creology products into that. Okay, so to start out, I'm just prepping my client. I've just washed her. I'm going to start out with my 21 Benefits Spray. And I'm just going to spray that all over her hair and just make sure I get my wet brush and brush it into the hair really good. Alrighty, and now I'm just taking my On The Rise Root Lift Spray and just focusing that in the areas I'm wanting a little extra volume more texture and just taking organic sections with my fingers just lightly spraying that and making sure I take my fingers and really working it into the hair I really love this product just because it gives you such good volume without it being too sticky when you're blow drying the hair and it still really helps smooth everything out now I'm taking the smooth perfection style and care cream just for a little extra heat protection and that way everything's really smooth because I'm really wanting this blowout to have a lot of volume and texture but still be really sleek at the same time. Alright, so now I'm just taking my clips and sectioning the hair off into a few sections that way we can get a more defined smooth blowout. Alrighty, so now just taking a medium sized round brush in my Sanvia blow dryer. I am just taking small subsections of the hair and just really making sure I smooth it out. Towards the bottom, I'm really not focusing on too much volume since that part of it I'm really just going to be putting in a bun anyways. Uh, so just slowly working my way up, smoothing the hair out.
All right, and now that I'm more towards the crown of the head, I'm really focusing on getting that hair to move. And that's also where we put that on the Raz Root Lifter. So you can really see it in action here and how easy it is to get volume in the hair where I put that product. I'm just taking those sections and really just working them in every direction just to make sure I can have all the movement I'll need when I'm doing the blowout.
Okay, so now that we have our client all smoothed out, we're gonna go ahead and start sectioning off for our updo. This updo is super simple and I really love it just because it's so sleek in the front and just beautiful. In the back, it's just still sleek and beautiful but with a lot of texture and just a lot of direction and motion going on. Okay, so here I'm just kind of sectioning out the hair I don't really need yet and just the bottom sections where I'm really gonna start out my bun and I'm using my Samvia texture iron just to kind of go in at first and create a little bit of texture at the base without having to tease the hair a lot. That would be a lot easier for my client to brush it out when they get home. All right, now I'm just taking my one inch Marcel and just doing some quick little beach waves on those bottom pieces just to make it a little bit easier when I start pinning them up to form the bun. Okay, and now that I've finished uh, curling those pieces, I just took my soft finish hairspray and I'm just taking my Pureology Moon Comb and back combing those pieces just a little bit, not too much, just to make it a little bit easier when I go in and start pinning the hair. Alrighty, so now I'm just grabbing an elastic and I'm just gonna kinda start forming my ponytail. Just making sure it's nice and secure and I'm going in with my sugar spray just for a little texture to help everything go a little bit smoother and I'm just back combing more that way I can just grab those hairs and it'll be nice and full when I start pinning them and it really saves you a lot of time when you do back comb before I'm not being too precise in this section just because I'm going to be covering up with hair so much, this is kind of just your base. So once I've got all those pieces pinned, I'm just taking my Marcel one more time and just curling those pieces a little more, just to make them more of a barrel curl, just that way when I'm rolling them into little pin curls to the pin, it'll be a lot easier and just kind of do the job for me when I'm pinning those up. I love this style because you can really do the same updo but just kind of alter it to the hair you're doing or the, for the occasion you're doing it for every time. You can make it more sleek, more textured, just kind of whatever you're feeling and whatever your client's wanting. Okay, so now that we've finished that bottom section, we're gonna go ahead and take down our top section. And this is just gonna be a few more curls and then we're gonna start creating some height. Right here, I'm taking my clean volume spray and just spraying that everywhere, just for a little extra texture. This is my favorite product to use on wet or dry hair, just because it's not heavy, it's not sticky, 
And it just adds that little extra something if you feel like you're really missing it. I'm just taking little one inch sections and curling them really, really tight, almost like a barrel curl. Just super simple, nothing crazy. Okay, and now that I've finished curling them, I just sprayed them with some soft finish hairspray. And I'm gonna go ahead and section off the area that I'm gonna end up teasing in a little bit. And I'm just really gonna focus on these really curly pieces and start making some barrel curls, some pin curls, just kind of seeing what I wanna do here. And just seeing what's gonna fit best with my client's hair. Okay, and now I'm just taking down that very top section and we're gonna start teasing it. So I am just gonna go in with my moon comb in really small sections and really just go in and work. And you can see that's where we use that on the Raz Root Lifter and it just does the work for you. I mean, I barely even had to tease it and it just gave me all the height I needed without having to back comb a bunch. So I just go in and sprayed that with a little bit of hairspray and I'm just gonna go on and take my next section, but I am leaving out that top section just to kind of smooth over those teased sections. And once we've done that, we're gonna kind of start forming our nice little hump in the back. I didn't wanna to do too much volume or too high of a bump for this look, just because I wanted it to be elegant, but still very natural and textured and modern. So here I'm just taking it and kind of forming it, adding a little more hair from the front, and just really making the look come together. Okay, and now that I have that all pinned up, um, I'm gonna go in with the Shine Bright Taming Serum and just emulsify that in my hands. And I'm take I've curled those front pieces. I know it's hard to see, it's not the best angle. 
but I'm just smoothing this out with that serum and then just pulling them to the back and just draping them just for a nice smooth elegant look in the front. Since this is her heavier side, I wanted to kind of do something a little more fun on this side. So I'm taking several sections instead of just curling all the hair together. And I'm going to kind of try to do a little twist and just give it a 3D effect. Just to have a little extra addition for when you're looking at it. Just for some different elements in the hair. Okay, so I just hit those with some hairspray and then that taming serum again just to kind of smooth everything out that way when you're looking at it face on there's not a bunch of flyaways everywhere without having to coat it with hairspray. So I'm just going to divide this into two subsections and just kind of twist them and let the curls do their thing. That's, this is such an effortless updo. It really just speaks for itself. It kind of formed itself also. And just kind of pin those naturally into the little bun we've created back here. And then I'm just going to kind of fold that tail up into a little pin curl. And just pin it where it is. Let it live. Alright, and then I'm just going to take that second section also and do the same thing with it. Alrighty, now I'm just going back in and looking for any little flyaways, any imperfections I want to pin back. But like that one little straight hair that I can't stop looking at, but don't worry, we'll get it. And once you've looked at it from every single angle on earth, uh, I'm just taking my Stronghold hairspray and just really getting in there and making sure everything's locked down because it is the Lock It Down hairspray. And here is our final look. I love this. It's so beautiful. It's so elegant. I think it's perfect whether you're a bridesmaid, even a bride, if you're going to a nice dinner, red carpet, prom, honestly anything. I just... I'm really happy with how this turned out, and it looks so gorgeous with her highlights and balayage. Really compliments her color. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this, and I really look forward to hearing from you guys.